Right, how are we doing, folks? It has been a while. But I shall uh, explain why. So, uh, how are you all doing? Well, you can see, I'm smoking my baby pipe. And uh, in it, I'm smoking some of, uh, well, it's one of my own. Uh, GQ Blends Nottingham Ice Rouge. I'm going to try and think of the name. Um, so, this does mean that Kim has had the baby. So, last Saturday, um, Kim gave birth at 10 to 2 in the afternoon. Um, so, yeah, I'm now a dad. And uh, I was going to do a cheesy box opener with um, me pretending to cut Kim open and bring the baby out. Work. I wanted to have a smoke of this. Finally, it's taken me a week to get around to smoking this. This is my first smoke, and it's quite awesome. I think you've seen it. If not, it's a completely virgin kind of shooting star bulldog with a stained cockabolo ring, the green jade Cumberland stem. But I just love the fact that he's left it virgin. Um, the grain is amazing. You've pretty much got bird's eye around the lip, all across the bottom. Straight grain going down the back of the shooting of the star. And uh, some flame and straight coming around the front of the bowl. Um, it's made by Giovanni, definitely. My good friend John here in the community. Um, John's a phenomenal pipe maker, as most of you probably already know. And... Um, I'm hoping that after the Las Vegas show, I'll be one of the first UK retailers to be carrying carrying his pipes. On the subject of um, UK retailers, my website is now live. It has been an absolute nightmare and a bitch of a time. Uh, my problems getting a bank account set up. Um, I was hoping to be trading about five weeks ago, but um, my website was pretty much launched a day after the baby was born. So I've had practically no sleep, and it isn't just the baby. A lot of it's... Uh, me having to sort of um, stay up late, get all the programming finished. It's still not done. I've got a lot of stuff to add. But um, if you guys want to head over, it's uh, www.gqtobaccos.com, or one word. Um, I am going to have to point this, reiterate this. I cannot sell pipe tobaccos to America. There is restrictions with Visa and MasterCard for card transactions regarding tobacco to America. It states that on the website... But overnight, I've had two people attempt it again. So, unfortunately, I cannot use credit or debit cards in payment for tobaccos from America. I cannot use credit or debit cards in payments for tobacco from America. Um, unfortunately, one of the only ways you're going to be able to do it is you send some money to a fellow smoker here in the UK. He buys it, posts it out to you. Then I've broken no laws. I've shipped it to somebody in the UK. And it's then ended up overseas. How it gets there is none of my business. Basically, I hate the, ha the fact that I have to do that. I look at my uh, fellow brothers and sisters of belief across the pond to try some tobaccos like these. But um, unfortunately, I can't. And I. Uh, I've packed this a little bit tight. So. More of the video. I've got a couple of yabos to do. So, first one, a package. Now, I did open this already. Why well, can we have any contractions in the back? <laughs> so, this is a package from Habano Carlos, a fellow reviewer here on YouTube. And he has sent me some toke Christmas pudding, which I actually quite like. I liked this one before. And then, some Toke limited editions. I didn't actually notice the stickers on the back before. I got some pumpkin pie and some crazy George. Crazy George. So, I will review them. Snuffs are quite easy. Um, I can't actually smoke where I work, um, unfortunately, so otherwise I'd probably be in my mouth all day. So, other boxes. Now, the one that I was waiting for. Um, we have a package from a fellow pipe maker here on YouTube. Uh, this is from Philip Riviera. Um, I have been charged duty. 
I've paid £9.91 plus VAT plus a handling fee for what I can only assume is down as six tobacco trials. So uh, without further ado, the box opening. Oh dear mate, you sealed this work. Do do do. So how's everybody doing them? Hope okay, everybody's well. Um, it's like, sorry I've not been watching videos, I've been working a lot. And we are in, almost. Ah. So what have we got here? Number two. Now I know people call this the room note, but I'm, I'm sticking with the original of when I started on here. This is the uh, this is the room note. The room note. This is the love note, should I say? So thank you for the opportunity to make this pipe from you. Also find uh, enclosed samples of the Hearth and Home tobacco blends. So this is Ronald Ronaldo's own. Ooh, that sounds quite familiar. It's got that kind of punchiness you get from uh, Cornell and Deal's old Joe Krantz, that kind of almost vinegary kind of smell to it. Slight alcohol note in there maybe. It smells quite nice. I like the cut. It's kind of a rough, almost wild cut. You can see that there. Uh, what else have we got? Number three. This is AJ's Vapor. Ah, it looks like a proper vapor to me. Any of Quite a lot of uh, darker, darker tobaccos in here. Oh! Wow. Mm. Again, another slightly vinegary kind of note from the Perique in that one. Ooh, this is a pure black Cavendish. Obsidian. I was playing quite a bit of Minecraft a couple of months ago, so it might take me a while to get through this with my diamond axe. Oh! Mmm. Some of care in there, I think. Maybe some stove virginias. Wow, it's got a great aroma. Uh, number six. Uh, this is just uh, LJ Hart Virginia. It's just a nice gold virgin, nice flue, a little bit of steamed in here. Ooh, smells quite nice actually. Just a nice, very loose, rough cut. Um, it's obviously been formed into a plug and shredded. Quite nice. Um, I think it has picked up a little bit of the um, aroma from some of the other tobaccos because it's still got that slight tang to it. Uh, what's this one? This one is number four. So this is Grandma's Kitchen. Wow, that's fragrant. Mm. <coughs> and last but not least, we have LJ, LJ Hart Burley. That's the smell I'm used to with Burley. That almost cocoa-y kind of slightly savouriness. Not a chocolatey, a cocoa-iness. But anyway, the moment, the moment of truth. Um, I'm sure we're in the right way. Now, it's got to be done in the right kind of uh, the right unveiling. So, I have seen pictures of this, and it's the first time I've seen it in the flesh. So, uh, here we go. Oh man, this is amazing. Some nice bird's eye, some lovely striped grain. A, we did have one problem with a bit of a sand burn on the, I don't know if you're going to be able to see that, on the bottom, but I asked him to leave it in and he's put a little bit of putty and a bit of filler in it, but film man, that is freaking awesome. the drawer, 
It is perfect. I love the staining. I love the stem. You probably can't see it too well. The light's in the wrong place in here. But wow. And I love the little lip the rim on the top of the bowl. But, Phil, man, I saw the pipe you made for AD, and that was phenomenal. All the pictures I've seen of your work is pretty good. And now I've seen it in the flesh. Wow. Buddy, thank you so much. I shall be stoking this up soon. And it does have a slight oval shank as well. Um, I'm hoping, I'm in talks with Phil, um, I'm hoping that eventually uh, I may be bringing some of his uh, some of his pipes over to the UK. Um, it's one of the things I want to do a lot on the website is I'm in talks with a lot, a lot of independent pipe makers at the moment. Um, I want to bring over some independent artisan pipes. I know. Uh, I'm looking forward to working with some people. Now, I have another Yabo. Aha! Mr. Jonathan Want, 1972. Jonathan is an amazing guy. Um, I know him from when I worked at Gauntley's. He was one of my mail order customers there. I spoke to him on the phone every so often. And um, we've done a few trades. Oh, God. There is some goodies in here. Let's start at the top. Some jackknife plug, unopened, going into the cellar. Jonathan, sir, thank you. This was the first ever GLP tobacco I smoked. And this is what started my obsession with uh, Greg's work. Um, I'm hoping to get, give Gaslight a try when that comes out. Any of my friends that want to over pond that want to send me some Gaslight, I'm happy to trade as soon as that comes out if you can get me any. Um, but no, this is this is what started me down the road of my love for what Greg does. And I have great respect for Greg. Um, I recently did an interview with uh, smokingapipe.com and um, I called him my idol, uh, which, which he found quite funny, so that's the good thing. But but no, Jackknife Club, Jonathan, sir, you're amazing. I suppose I should be reading the love note. On a postcard. <laughs> I'll explain what I'm laughing at. Hey Glenn, good luck with GQ Tobaccos. I thought you would send you some jackknife plug. Um, I owe you three Ps, but instead of the three Ps, I've sent you some three Ps. So he sent me three Ps. <laughs> Jonathan, man. <laughs> oh, you crazy fool. What else have we got in here? And a tin of three Ps. What have we got just here? Oh, I have had this before. Um, sorry, I'm hiding it. This is some McClellan Blue Mountain. I freaking loved this stuff. I reviewed it well, back in the day when I was making videos three, four times a week. But, um, but yeah, um, let's have a look what else we have here. We've got... I need to hide these from Kim because Kim quite likes them. So we've got some Tootsie Rolls. Some fizzers that have got a little bit, uh, a little bit cracked in the post, but that's all right. I don't mind sucking the powder. Um, more Tootsie Rolls. Oh yeah, strawberry refreshers, original refreshers, drumsticks, lollies. Jonathan, man, my teeth are already falling out. This is only going to make it worse. Another refresher, Palmer Violets. Another Tootsie Roll. Some more fizzers and a good old classic lolly. So, um, so yeah, that about does it. So, uh, a triple yabo uh, website is now live. Um, oh, back to pipes. Um, I I will ship pipes to America, and um, if you go on the website and you you're in the states, it will show you the prices in dollars. This is just a rough calculation. You may have to pay a conversion fee with your bank or your credit card, whoever, your card provider. Um, but when you get to the checkout, um, you'll see calculate shipping and tax. Fill in your details there, and it will then give you the 20% discount that you will get because you're not within the EU or UK. Sorry, not the EU, the ECC or the UK. 
Um, I say it's uh, it's basically VAT free if you're not in the not in Europe basically. So you get some amazing prices on there. I've got Peterson, Stanwell's, Savinelli's. Um, we've got some butts on there. I've uh, got some sh um, Shacoms to add. Uh, what else have we got? Some Vowen, I've got some Comoys, I've got some Dr. Plum, I've got um, seven Northern Briars left, but they're selling excessively fast. So if you want to grab yourself a deal on Northern Briar, you get 20% off. And um, <clears throat> I'm very, very competitively priced. And the offer's there for pipes if anybody wants anything. Um, we struggle to get hold of Petersons. I need to crop down my Peterson range today for what I've actually got, which isn't a great deal. Um, but we were struggling to get Petersons out of Peterson at the moment, the importer in the UK is. Excuse me, I just need to have a bit of my small cup of tea. Um, we're struggling with Petersons, but if people want pipes, I'm happy to order them for you. Um, as long as your pipe isn't a Dunhill, isn't a Parker, isn't any more but Shaquan, and uh, isn't a Sheraton. Because um, Dunhill won't deal with me. Um, I'm an internet mail order only customer, and they don't like those kind of customers, so they, they don't want to deal with me. Um, if I eventually get a shop or a showroom and a warehouse and things like that, then they might do. That's if I actually want to deal with them. Um, I think it's ridiculous. Tobacconists are closing all over the place. And most business is pretty much done online now, but if you haven't got a shop, Donny won't deal with you. And, um, rather frustrating. Um, I have asked a few of my fellow retailers here in the UK if they can help me out and um, you know wholesale Dunhills to me, but um, it's, it margins. I I, I want to be competitive online, and if I got Dunhills, I I wouldn't be competitive online. There's no point. So um, one day maybe with Dunhill, one day maybe. So um, so yeah. As I say, thank you very much for watching, folks. Uh, you will see a little bit more of me. Um, in the bucket below, I'll put a load of information down there. Um, I am starting up another channel at some point. Um, basically, that's going to be more information, history, guides, answering people's questions and things like that. This channel will mainly be used for mindless drivel like this and uh, box openings and tobacco reviews. Um, if I do a tobacco review on the company account, it's seen as advertising. Um, and if I do a review on my own personal account, such as this one, uh, it's not, it's independent journalism. Uh, regulations regarding the tobacco industry are, are freaking ridiculous. But um, I've been playing the game long enough now, so I know, I, I know the rules and I know what I can do. So, as I say, thank you ever so much for watching, folks. And um, hopefully I'll see you very, very soon. Um, but please head over to the website, check it out. Um, if you see any spelling mistakes, like I am dyslexic. Uh, please just ping me an email, tell me what the mistakes are, and I will get them changed. I've got a team of proofreaders out there, but there's 400 products, and I've still got about another 200, 300 more products to go. So um, please, folks, if you spot a spelling mistake, just ping me an email. Um, again, email address in the bucket below. And um, great to speak to you all again. I look forward to seeing you all soon. So take care. Goodbye.